Hey guys, what's going on here? My name's Hey You, and literally, I watched it live. I watched it happen live. Uh, Goku versus Superman, Dos. Those of you who are not cultured, uh, Dos means two. Uh, the rematch, uh, I, <laughs> it was being in the Dragon Ball community. I'm a Dragon Ball Z YouTuber, if you don't know who I am. Um, people in this community were kind of neutral they were going to be mad regardless because in our minds we were thinking okay if they let goku win they're just letting them win just to make sure we don't kill them and if they let superman win it'll be the same result as last time we'll freaking rage for uh, i don't remember how long ago two years so um something that they decided to release almost a few days before the fight that they were going to use Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. By the way, this is a review if you haven't looked at the title yet. I'm not judging. Um, this is a review. And if you haven't watched it yet, I know like only a few thousand people have watched watched it live, I think. Let me check. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, if you haven't seen it yet, I'm sorry. I'm going to spoil it sooner or later in this. Uh, let, me get, let me get into the non-technical stuff. The animation was solid. Um, it was pretty good. Probably the best animation we've seen on Death Battle. I, they, my one complaint is being a Dragon Ball fan. I kind of, I can nitpick things a lot because you know this is the only thing I really keep track of. Really, I'm not a Superman guy. I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, the Super Saiyan God isn't like muscular, and they made him like really muscular for some reason, and he's not. He's not at all. So that's my one complaint on the animation. Other than that, it was flawless. Um, the... You know how they do combatants? They didn't do that. They just said the origins of where they came from, and that was it. I think only because they've already done it once, why do it again? But, here's the thing. This is a completely different Goku. Why not go over what he's capable of? <clears throat> oh man, my throat's about to go out. But I'm gonna try to, gonna try to finish it out. Um, why not? you have to I mean you almost have to give you know what he's capable of considering the fact this is a new beast this isn't Super Saiyan 4 this is Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan this is a completely different animal here you have you almost have to and I was a little upset about that <laughs> and so and then they introduced the fight it started it was really short if you haven't watched it yet it was really short, and if you have watched it, it was really short. Uh, it was, I don't remember how long, I'm gonna look that up. As on live, Goku versus Superman. Super Nan. It was the very first Goku, Bo, Go, Goku versus Superman matchup was 32 minutes long. The actual fight was actually decently long, but this matchup, this, it was probably less than five minutes, such as me guessing. I, you can't tell because it was live, and I can't, like, backtrack. And, yeah. It was really short, and they were pretty much avoiding the hate, because they're like, there's no way, th okay, I'm gonna tell you guys right now, right now, you got your ears open, Superman wins, okay, that's it. And they were pretty much trying to make it a way... To where we wouldn't get as mad at them because they know we're gonna get mad the DBZ community so they tried to make the fight as if okay let's not make it close let's just make it to where just Superman just straight up separates the men from the boys and puts Goku in his place it doesn't make it entertaining, but they went to save their butts apparently I don't know I'm not hating on screw attack they're probably one of my they're top five favorite youtubers but i didn't like that decision i think they should have made it entertaining and then afterwards explain hey this actually wasn't close we just i just did we just did this make it look entertaining just to make it entertaining um after the fight is where i was like really mad because at first it was really cool they really they really dodged the bullet how they did this they made it up to where okay goku has no chance so he's going to talk to King Kai and make it a light-hearted moment and be like, you'll never be able to beat him while you keep on trying. And then, you know, it's funny and it was really good. But then, 
after the fight, they spill it. They just spill it. And now the community is going to roast them for this. Because after this, uh, Wiz, or Ben, however you want to address him, says, there's no way to pinpoint Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan's power. So, I mean, you kind of spilled the beans. You, you're you leaving it up for another match. Them saying, oh, we don't know. We actually don't know how strong Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan is. But, since Super Saiyan, or it's not Super Saiyan, Superman power is limitless, he wins. That's what they said. I'm like, okay, you could have, that's what your research shows us, but you don't say that to us. Now we're going to be furious, and now you did, worked all that, worked so hard in the animation and the, the script writing to make sure your butts don't get roasted, and then you roast yourself by saying, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, we don't know how strong he is, we just know Superman will beat him no matter what. That's what they said. <laughs> Man, I love you, Ben, but come on, man. You can't do that to us. Oh, man. I'm not, I don't hate Screw Attack after this. The DBZ community was kind of split. Some of them were like, I don't care. I, I'll just watch it because it's my job, too, as a Dragon Ball fan. Some of them were like, oh, heck yeah, I'm watching. Uh, I, for one, love Screw Attack to death. Uh, so I won't stop watching them just because they screwed my boy twice. Um, and they said, okay, there'll be a third one. By the way, I don't know if that's going to be in the YouTube video or not. This is like literally it happened eight minutes ago. The fight happened eight minutes ago. So you're hearing it first, boys. Um, that fight, it was it was pretty entertaining. It was really short. It was really short, like I mentioned before. That was really... Uh, uh, they didn't give us any stats, like I mentioned before. I'm just going to do a quick review just in case you forgot some things. They didn't give us a rundown of how strong these guys were. They just gave us a fight and said Goku would have no chance no matter how strong he is because he has limits and Superman ha does not have limits. So they screwed themselves. I think they rushed it. They might have rushed it to get it out for SGC, which I will be hopefully be going in 2016, by the way. Just saying. <laughs> um, so they kind of screwed themselves, man. Uh, like the video for no reason. I don't know why there's a reason. This is really a depressing day for us Dragon Ball fans. Or if you're a Superman fan. If you, or if you don't care. This is still a big moment for for people in the gaming and anime community, man. This is, a, this is big. And I think they might have dropped the ball a little bit. But anyway. Leave a comment down below your opinions, man. If you think I'm an idiot. Because I'm, I'm a Goku fanboy, man. It's alright, man. But it's... Uh, oh, and one more thing, one more thing, just in case there might be some people that are listening, man, right before I end out this video. Don't hate on Screw Attack, man. They don't say if they put up Mario versus Goku, they can make it up to where Mario would win because he has a star power. No, 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 no. They're legit. Um... They just screwed. They just screwed up a couple times, you know. Um, they they love Dragon Ball to death. They love Dragon Ball way more than uh, way more than Superman. At SGC 2015, they have the full cast of Dragon Ball Z, the whole Funimation crew. They always have Team Four Star. They're really good buddies with Team Four Star. Every week, uh, about a couple months ago, they had a weekly show with Funimation, the people of Funimation, talking about anime. So don't say that they're comic book fanboys because they're not. They really are not. They are, they, like, in their podcast room where they record podcasts, they have nothing but Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Z figurines in there. So don't say that they're uh, comic book fanboys. They're actually more leaning towards anime fanboys, but they're not. They're all around. That's why they're so great. So, uh... You know, if you want to see more, dra I do Dragon Ball content, so if you're interested in that, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Um, I'm sorry I've taken up your time. I'm just kidding. You probably, yeah, you, you clicked on the video. It's, it's your fault. Um, hope you guys have a great day, and I, I love you guys more than you know. And I guess I'll see you guys, hopefully I'll see you guys around. Uh -huh.